first of all, I'd like to say uh, greetings um, and uh, for re recording purposes, I hope this microphone is on, but I know we can, I, we don't need this microphone in order for us to hear each other. Um, so uh, greetings, how's everybody doing tonight? Good. Uh, my name is uh, Mutulu Olubala. I am, um, uh, my stage name is M1, uh, which many of you know me by. I'm one half of the uh, Tell It Like It Is, Everything Is Political, Rap Group, Dead Preds. Um, yes, yes. And, uh, yes. and thank you uh, for all of those who've heard the words of Dead Preds. Um, we, we take no credit for those words. We didn't invent them. Um, we are not um, in any way, uh, we, we are merely soldiers and, and organizers, um, agitators, uh, propagandists. Um, for the liberation of, of our people, poor and oppressed people, uh, worldwide in all occupied communities, uh, many of whom I represent right here in America. Um, this, this land that we're on is, is occupied land of the indigenous people who were pushed away from here. So uh, I can definitely relate. And uh, in terms of why um, I am uh, involved with existence is resistance and have been, and uh, how I found myself in, um, in Gaza and then now in the, in the West Bank in Ramallah and uh, Balata and, and Janine and the rest of the camps uh, is uh, solidly based on my ability to, uh, to seek real solidarity uh, amongst the movements that can uh, identify with anti-imperialism, um, anti-Zionism, um, and, and, and all, of, all under that banner. Um, that, that's born uh, from the exploitation and, and the, uh, the theft of our resource and, uh, and, and uh, everything that we find valuable. So basically, um, sorry, because I only have a short time, um, my, my, our recent trip back uh, into this time the West Bank or um, into uh, Ramallah and the, and the sort and the rest of it um, was very powerful and eye-opening, a lot different than my previous experience trying to get into Gaza. Um, obviously, for for reasons that are obvious, uh, a difference in the type of governing structure in, 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 that's in Gaza versus uh, that that's in the West Bank, and then how we were able to enter because we had to enter through uh, through Tel Aviv, um, you know, um, occupied Palestine, and then um, and then uh, the, what I was able to see um, about this occupation was a little bit uh, was even more glaring because. Um, I was I was I was able to see the actual theft in process. Um, so for me, uh, it meant a lot. I learned much from the camps uh, as the my comrades who, who were with us and who have pictures and who have documented will also uh, attest to. Um, we were able to to stay uh, in in uh, uh, amongst the the camps of people who had been displaced from their homes um, and live. Uh, a life in that kind of way. Um, Nancy asked me to say something about this particular event because there was one day between the workshops and actually before some of the um, the uh, performances that myself and Marcel and, and DJ Vega uh, uh, were doing. Um, someone there was someone around the camp who, who was uh, who was needing blood and, and who, who was in the hospital and they offered. Uh, for people to, to give blood, and, and for me it wasn't it was it was not even a second thought, not really. Um, really, I, I just knew that I could because I'm I'm O, I'm, I have O, and I didn't know what blood type the person was, but I knew that I would be compatible enough to do it. And um, then I, I leapt up out of the bunk and and uh, went to, to the uh, to the uh, hospital. I think the person may have been giving birth, um, and then um, ultimately they didn't need the blood that, that, I, that I was going to um, give, um, but I was more than happy to give it, and uh, it just, to me, I mean, it, it, it just seemed very regular, but um, I think Nancy made me kind of see, uh, I guess, at how selfless it could be, and you can still tell me how that is, because for me, I think I'm willing to do uh, so much to, to, to get this eat this, uh, this miserable imperialist structure off the back of Palestinian people, the least I could do would, would be to give my blood. So, uh, you know, that was just one part of the day. I, the most fulfilling things uh, were working with the 
children uh, in Oscar camp. We were, we were able to uh, talk about the ideas in their minds, translated into things on paper, turn those words into rhymes, turn those rhymes into crews, turn those crews into hip hop identity, and make things happen in the real world. That was really dope for me, and I, I really enjoyed it a bunch. And um, and I hope that we can uh, learn. And what I did was soak up and learn how to be more effective organizers in the face of this brand of imperialism that uh, I think is one of the fronts of, um, you know, uh, the, the places that if we, can, if we can battle this back, we can show uh, to the world that now is the time for, for us to change our relationship with imperialism and the rest of the world. That now is it more than any time that imperialism is in crisis and in such a crisis that, you know, that I can be in uh, Palestine doing the work that I'm doing and see how effective it is. So... Um, I give thanks for that, for being a student um, and being able to be a part of that, soak that up and carry that into my cultural work. Uh, it's revolutionary culture that we plan to make effective and ripple out even more, like, like people like Marcel Cartier, and, I, and uh, we're going to go do a song probably tomorrow, something like that, and many more, um, uh, along with Vega and the rest. And so um, thank you for, for once again for listening to me and having me, and I hope to, to be here again and again.